Next up is LS5. LS5 is a modified block, so we're going to work from the booklet on this one. I've numbered my pieces so that it make it easier for me to lay out my prepped blocks. And we have bands of products here. Well, bands of pieces. We've got this band here. This line will be a unit. This thing will be a unit. And this is a unit and this is a unit. And these are, I'm going to treat this as a one or a two unit tip. I hesitate because I guess, yeah, because we're going to mark or we're going to match these up and the points when we go to connect them. So that's the straight, that's the best way to assemble these. Um, will be I like for this unit I will start on 22 add 19 and then 20 and then 21 and 23 for example or, or I might go the other way but yeah one of these and then this and the other side for this start with 16 and add 15 and 14 I might put these together first I'm not sure 13 and 17 will be assembled first, then connected to the 15, 16 unit, and then 18. And again, I might connect these before this, connect to, to these before I, I don't know. But that's the plan. Here is going to be interesting. Um, I think I'm going to end up starting with this piece because it's bigger and working my way across. We'll see how that goes. And this, of course, this is straightforward. Three-piece unit, two-piece unit. Basting is going to be, the, the whole thing about basting is to get the tags out of the way. So here's my pieces, and I think I'm going to start on the top because that's going to go faster and it will give me some more space to work with these little pieces. So I will get this top unit assembled first, and then we can move on to the next one. For basting on this, I'm going to baste this first here then these sides so then my tags will be going out of play into that seam this i'm going to base this last so that my tags are away this is going to be first so my tags are out here same with that so this is just going to be a mirror image here so what i will do is i will baste this first so that's the sharpest and then these two then this one so I will get this all set up. So I basted in my pieces and I've attached these two. Um, I've got my tags, like I said, going out this way. This tags are going away and this into here and this one and that one. So next I'm going to attach this to that one. So I've connected the other piece here. This is what the front should look like. And so the next thing to do would be to connect these side triangles to the middle. The one thing you do want to make sure of is when you connect these that you line up the angle here exactly with this so that it can translate down the rest of the triangle. So I've got this attached now and I've lined it up with careful attention to this line and this line and I will do the same with this piece on this other side and making sure I line up this these two edges here and this edge here the best I can. So I've connected my last piece of this section so this is what I've got so far and I will stick this I'll leave it this way up here so the next section is going to be this one right here. This one right here. So I'm going to take this one and baste it, and I'm going to baste it like this one so that these are going to go up into here since there's not anything to interfere with it. And that will take the tags out of play. And this, I'm going to baste the little sides first, and then the long sides. And on this one, I'm going to base this one last so that my tags are going to go out away from this seam. 
Um, I'm going to, so I'm going to baste these three and I'll stick them together. So I basted my pieces here and I have this little flat edge on the top of this one. It's a little tiny, tiny flat edge that needs to be aligned with the tiny flat edge on this one, which needs to then be aligned to this one. So we have this here, right there, those two little pieces, and that's going to be the guiding factor. So this flat edge needs to line up with the top of this triangle, and this needs to line up with the side. So I'm going to put 15 on first with that in mind. So I've connected this piece to the other, and we've got the lines lined up that we need to. So the next one is going to be lined up at the top. Maybe you can see it better this way. That's a tag, that pointy part. So the, the flat part at the top gets lined up there, and the bottom part just meets at the tip. It's not going to line up with this because it is part of the bottom here. So we're going to connect 14 to 15. So this is going to be lined up here, but this is not going to be lined up. But just as long as the point meets right there, it'll be okay. So I'm going to connect these two. So I've got my number 14 attached to 15. We've got this lined up here, and this point is meeting. So the next step is be to connect 13 and 17 to each other, which are these two pieces. So then I can connect those to this. So I'm going to put this face down here so I don't lose track of where everything is. And I will baste these and connect them to each other. So I basted my pieces and I had to think about the tags on this one because it's going to be interfering with seams in all directions and so if I if I put it here and put my tags towards that it's going to conflict with these so I don't want to do that and it's going to do the same on 17 so I decided to go down towards 12 so maybe it won't be as bad but that's kind of a bad you know a decision I had to make based on that but um, now I'm going to sew these together so I can then attach it to the rest of them. So I've stitched my pieces together here, and now I will attach it to this piece, making sure I line up this flat edge and make, making sure that this seam lines up exactly with that one. So I've attached these two pieces to the others. So I've got all this stuff lined up and sewn together. And now I'm going to baste this and attach it here. And again, I'm going to line up this flat side to the top line and this to the bottom line now that I have a bottom line to follow. So I've got my other piece attached, so I've finished this whole second section. What I can do now is take my first section and connect it there. That way I've got one assembly going on, so I'm going to do that. So I'm working on attaching this to each other, and I've made sure that I line this up here but because of my seams and stuff, it's not lining up terribly well here. So I'm going to force the issue and pull this in and then start stitching right here to make sure that this lines up right and then go to the middle. So I've got my pieces connected now and they're lined up on both ends. I'm going to set this up here. And now I've got these pieces ready to go. This is my next section, which is this third section. And I think I'm going to attack this the same way I attacked this. Start with these three pieces. And this one's the biggest, so I'm going to baste and attach these two first. And then I can have that, you know, that's going to be coming to a point right there. And then that has to match here, but it doesn't match the angle. And then I have something to attach my, tri my 12 triangle to. And then I can make these two and then connect them and then attach this. So I've got 11 and 10 basted and attached. So this is what we've got here. And then I've got 12 basted 
and I'm going to now attach it to number 10. So I've attached number 12 to number 10, and now I've got these two pieces, and I'm going to take number 9 and number 8, base those, and then connect them to each other before then putting them in position. I've got my pieces number 9 and number 8 connected, so I'm going to put those right there. So now I've got 8 and 9 attached to the other pieces, and so this is what it should look like at this point. And then I've got to do, I've got a base number 7 and attach it to that one. I've got this all basted and attached, and so this whole section is now completed right there. And then I'm going to put this onto my other pieces I've already assembled. So I've attached my third section to the other two, and now I'll set it aside. And now I have these to do, and I will base these together. I'll base these and then sew them together. So I've attached number three to number five, and now I'm going to add number six. This section is completed and now I will add it to the rest of my assembly. I've got this section attached to the rest of the triangle and now what's left is to baste and attach these two pieces. So I basted and attached both of these parts and now my LS5 triangle has been completed.